Hello everybody, welcome to Glass Half Dead, and today I want to talk to you about Blackstone Fortress and the fact that the Warhammer community page mentioned that they are going to be bringing out Kill Team rules for the Blackstone Fortress models. Let's get into it. Warhammer Community did 10 things you didn't know about Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress, and it ends that article by saying that Kill Team profiles are on their way. So, in this video, I wanted to chat about all the different things that could mean, what I want them to mean, and possible future implications. Taking a look at the end of that article, let's see what they actually said, so that if I'm misinterpreting something, you guys know. Let's break it down. So, they say, Profiles are on their way. The Design Studios rules team have already begun to bend their will towards producing Warhammer 40,000 kill team profiles for various miniatures f featured in Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress. Call her, watch this space for more information. Great. However, let's very quickly read far too much into this. You know, far more than we should. So it says for various miniatures. It doesn't say for all miniatures. My instant reading of that is that we're not going to get anything that doesn't kind of automatically slip into a kill team. For example, I'm I'm going to call it now, spindle drones are not going to be a thing. There you go. Are they going to let psychers, the, uh, the, the negavolt cultists or the unleashed psychers be a thing? I don't, let's get into that later. Let's get into that later. We can speculate, can't we? The first question is, what? how are they actually going to do it? To my mind, there are several different ways they could go about converting the rules for Blackstone Fortress to 40k kill team. Firstly, we can actually ignore the rules for Blackstone Fortress because they've already converted the rules from Blackstone Fortress to 40k. So when we're looking at how they're going to do this, we could just look straight to the 40k data sheets that already exist, because we already know from, you know, how obvious it is that the way the design team has worked in the past is they have taken the base 40k game, the data sheets there, and they've pretty much copy pasted them over to Kill Team. They tweak the points a bit, but otherwise it's kept pretty similar. Great. That's fine. Moving on from that. The question really is, what are they actually going to take? And how are they going to do it? To my mind, there are two ways they could go about it. Uh, let's focus on the heroes first, the heroes. So the heroes could either be their own team. You know, they could be, I don't whatever, the, the Blackstone Fortress crew, whatever they're called. And they are their own team. I assume they would do something similar to what they did for the Rogue Traders kill team. You know, something like uh, the uh, the Eldar has to be a sniper, and the uh, the Kroot has to be a scout. Something like that, like you know, forced specializations, because they're all already named characters. So it makes a lot of sense that they would do a similar thing to Rogue Trader when it comes to that kill team. That makes sense. However, they might not do that. They might take all of the different individual models and just say oh if you you know uh, this Groot on its stage sheet it has the Tau Empire keyword you could just put this into your Tau Empire kill team there you go it's another model if that's what you want to do or obviously most of these guys are Imperium uh, so most of them would be able to I assume slip into any of the Adeptus Astartes um, or the Imperial Guard kill teams and then maybe Death Watch, maybe Grey Knights, who knows what they decide to do there. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I, I believe they are going to go the Rogue Trader route. And they are going to make them a kill team of them, even of themselves. And you won't be able to patch them in and out of existing kill teams. I personally would like it if they did make them individual heroes that you could put into other kill teams i think that would be really cool that would be the, that's that's awesome that's what i want i don't think they're going to do that mainly because it would unbalance the game hugely however as i said you know we've seen how they handle the rogue trader 
we have also seen how they handle the last chances and Gaunt's ghosts. Now, I never covered those data sheets on this channel, but for those of you that don't know, at the Warhammer World Kill Team event, you could pick up um, a, a box of metal miniatures for both Gaunt's ghosts and for the last chances kill teams models, and they came with data sheets. And on these data sheets, it very clearly said that these teams are for narrative play only, no match play allowed. Are they going to do that? Oh, I, I would not like that. I'll be honest. I would not be... Yeah, that wouldn't be my thing. I want them to release models that are valid to use in match play. If I want to buy the Blackstone Fortress and just take the Heroes team and say, there you go, that's the team I want to run, I should be allowed to do that. That's what I think. And I don't want it to be narrative play restricted. What do you think they're going to do, guys? Do you think they're going to go the rogue trader route where everyone can only be played in their specific Blackstone Fortress heroes faction keyword? Or do you think they're going to make them individual heroes and you can put the Kroot with the Tau, you can put the Eldar with the Eldar, you can put um, the, the, the Man of Iron, UR025 or whatever he's called, with uh, Adeptus Mechanicus or... Who knows? I don't, I don't know who he goes with. Or do you think they're going to make it narrative play only? And actually, do you care? Am I the only one that cares if they make it narrative play only? Is that just me being weird? I don't know. Now, we can ask the same questions for the evil side, but I think it actually gets a little bit more... Com not complex, that's the wrong word. They're not complicated. But I, I think that on the evil side, there's a lot more wiggle room. So first things first, when looking through the 40k data sheet for all of the evil guys, apart from the spindle drones, they all share a faction keyword. And that to me strongly implies that they are going to make all of them their own kill team. Okay, that that's where that makes sense to me. However... We also know, obviously, there's Chaos Marines, there's a Chaos Lord, there's Renegade Guard, uh, there's Psychers, and they are all Chaos. Now, this is where it gets interesting for me. Part of me is totally okay with just taking all of the different miniatures uh, from, for, the, for the bad guy side, the hostile side of Blackstone Fortress, and saying, you know what, in the 40k data slates, we'd already said that these were their own faction. So, there you go. They're their own faction. You can't mix them up. I say, okay. Yep. I, I understand that. They've done, it, they've done it with Rogue Trader. These guys all share the same made up, but factual. Faction keyword. So, yeah. I get it. However, a lot of people take issue with the Heretic Astartes kill team. They effectively... I mean, there's two data sheets to choose from. And they're not the most exciting data sheets. How awesome would it be to add in match play the ability to take not only the cultists, which to be fair is what the uh, the traitor guard from the Blackstone Fortress would just be. They're, they're equipped the same. You don't need a new data sheet for them. They can have a new data sheet, I guess, but you don't need it. They are quite copy-paste versions of cultists. And you've got the Chaos Marines, and they, again, are just Chaos Marines. There's no need to make a new data sheet for them. You will need a new data sheet for uh, the Chaos Lord, but he's going to be a commander. That makes total sense. No, no issues there. You then... I mean, just, just imagine this. Just imagine this, guys. Okay, close your eyes. Imagine. Being able to add the two data sheets to the, to the base Heretic Astartes kill team of the Negavolt Cultists and the Unchained Psychers. Could that be a thing? Am I crazy? Could we actually have, like, the ability to add two random Psycho models to the Heretic... To the, I'm too excited, I'm sorry. To the Heretic Astartes kill team. That sounds very interesting. Even if they only have Smite. I don't care, that's fine. It's not Smite, is it? That's 40k, it's uh, Cybolt. That sounds really interesting. 
that's what I want. I don't think they'll do it. I think, as much as we may like to complain about the game, guys, I don't think... Oh, no, no, I... Kill Team is, for, for what it's worth, relatively well balanced. Yes, there are some clear tiers that have emerged, but it's not badly done. Like, I've, I've got to admit it, they've done a really good job of balancing the factions. Yes, some are worse. Yes, some are better. But as these things go, that was bound to happen. I, I really can't blame them for the amount of discrepancy there is. And with that said, are they going to take a look at the possibility of adding Unchained Psychers and Negavolt Cultist guys to the Heretic Astartes team and say, no, we won't do that because it makes the Heretic Astartes too powerful? That would be... Mm. 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 Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're not going to do what I want. They're not going to do that. They're not going to let you take Unchained Psychers and Negavolt Cultists in the Heretic Astartes kill team. I think they are going to make all of the Blackstone Fortress hostiles very similar to um, what I think they're going to do with the heroes. I think they're just going to make them... They're going to Rogue Trader style kill team them. You can take any of the heroes you want as their own kill team and you can take any of the hostiles you want as their own kill team and never the twain shall meet as fun as it might be because yes they do share a faction keyword with a lot of the the existing armies obviously i don't think they're going to let that happen and i i that okay that's what i want i want them i want to take a tau kill team and add a crew. that's awesome and i want to take a heretic astartes team and add an unchained psyker that would be great that's beautiful the narrative writes itself guys it's amazing however even though that is what i want i want to say this in a in, a, in as nice a way as possible i don't think they will be able to keep the balance correct if they do it that way because you'd be adding so many permutations to it i think they're going to release the two teams as their own teams and although that's not what I want, I think that's the safest way to keep the game balanced. Or as balanced as it is. Now, yes, it does mean that Chaos isn't going to get their nifty little power boost bump, which would have been awesome. And it does mean that you're not going to be able to run whatever that cultist is with the huge chainsword and the flamer. Chainsword, flamer combo, whatever it is. You're not going to be able to run that as your as your leader in an Imperial Guard team. And you're not going to be able to run Urgles with Dark Eldar. Because wouldn't that have been awesome? Urgles have to be in Dark Eldar. That would be great. I don't think they will let us do that. I wish they did, though. And I'll be honest, I'm totally going to homebrew those rules and just put, smash them together for fun, for a fun game or two. And I'll probably record that uh, for the channel. Uh, just to show you, I don't know, it's completely broken. I will take that hit to our gameplay for myself uh, and then just tell you guys, yeah, guys, don't do this. This was a terrible idea. That's on me. There you go. That Those are my thoughts on it. The only thing, the only thing that they have to not do, the only way I would truly be annoyed. Okay, so if they let us slot in individual units with the relevant factions, I'm overjoyed. That's great. If they rogue trader style kill team them and they have to be kept together in their own separate factions, I'm going to accept that from a balanced perspective. I'm going to be like, yeah, okay, that's a smart choice. Good job. Both of those options are great. Like, I'm totally okay with it. The only thing they have to not do is not make it narrative only. That's all I ask. All I want is for them to be viable in match play. If I want to take a team of an Eldar Ranger, a Kroot Trapper, and, a, and an Astropath, and a Rogue Trader with a Cane, and a Pistol, let me take that. Oh, and two Rattlings, of course, one with a Fridge. Let me take that to a match play tournament. If I die, I die. So be it. At least I have played the narrative I want to play. And I know that sounds stupid, and I've just used the word narrative multiple times so doesn't it then make sense that I just do narrative play? Yes, it does. 
but that's not what we're talking about here. I want to play narrative play in a match play environment. I don't know. I'm weird. What can I say? And that's it. That's it. As long as they don't restrict anything here to narrative play only, I will genuinely be happy and I might consider running something from the from this team, from the Blackstone Fortress set. Okay, those are my thoughts on the Blackstone Fortress Kill Team rules switch up that's going to be happening soon. What do you guys think? What do you want? Would you like to be able to slot things in and out? Are you okay with the Rogue Trader style kill team setup they, that they might do? Are you actually okay with narrative play as, as the only way to play them? Because you don't want to see Unchained Psychers in Heretic Astartes or, or something. Let me know. I'm genuinely interested. This has just been a video where I've given you my thoughts on the topic uh, because I was really excited when I heard that that's what they were going to do. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. I hope you've all had a great day, and I hope you continue to have a great day. This has been Glass Half Dead, logging off.